Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Knothole Gang. Atop the Mickey and Friends parking structure, we're looking at Galaxy's Edge and the backside of Battle Escape. And uh, finally, we've got some development here in the uh, rear portion of the, of the park. We've got some trees, guys. Look at that. They, got, they bought in a whole bunch of trees. Uh, they're still in their planter, so obviously this is not their final resting place. But um, they're getting ready to take the next step in, uh, uh, you know, designing this this land which is a great step the trees are a great great step that's a that's a significant move forward and then we'll take another new look at uh, a whole bunch of steel that they added over the last couple of weeks to the top of the uh, queue um, oh here we go and now we're back over here on the <laughs> the tunnel portion of the queue this uh, again more trees here they're, again they're not in their planter so I'm expecting these trees and the ones that we see here to the left to be moved elsewhere but um, this is kind of what we expected uh, when we when we first started you know realizing what this area was going to be that this is going to be you know be covered in mountain even the queue and all that it's going to be you know it's going to look like you know with the trees and the dirt and the mountain and the rocks and all that it's going to look like a real mountain now we'll switch to the top of the uh, battle escape building and uh, not a not a lot of progress here <sighs> Um, we're gonna we're gonna stop here in a little bit, but um, it looks about the same as it did before. It's still impressive what, what's going on here. Yeah, and I think I want to stop here just to sort of compare this to last. This is uh, four weeks ago, and you can see that that while you know the steel and the mesh has, uh, it looks almost the same if you. What what you'll notice is that there's that what they've they've applied the 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 texture coat you know so it's not just this this transparent mesh layer now they, they're I mean it is becoming a mountain on top of the old warts there and we'll continue. And there you see that's the. Um, the force perspective rock work behind the the, uh, the peaks and that again has has made another round of improvements uh, they've added a lot more mesh there's there's uh that's just last week so there's there's been quite a lot of mesh added to to the to the steel since last week so i expect that to to get fully developed uh very soon and we'll continue That's about the same as it was last week. And then we'll take one more look from, from the far left of the structure to see what we can see with respect to the, uh, to the rock work being done back there, the, the new mesh and the new, well, and the, and the, and the peaks. Really windy. <laughs> And now we'll pan left to right over the top of the Battle Escape building. Now while we're panning, I, I should note that I have heard a rumor that uh, permit... Well, it's not really a rumor. Somebody published that permits were filed for uh, building or adding some fake trees uh, along some of the mountain work or rock work in Star Wars land, in Galaxy's Edge. So I think that bodes well in terms of us feeling concerned about, you know, how quickly these trees are going to develop. Some of these trees, they're going to they're gonna fill them out with some fakeness. And I think that works as long as there's a significant amount of real trees to, you know, complete the illusion. Kind of like how they do at, Tom, or at uh, Tarzan's Treehouse. A lot of fake trees at Tarzan's treehouse. A lot of fake branches and leaves. But when you mix them all in with, um, as we look at Mark Twain and the Rivers of America, if you mix them in with the fake stuff, it looks really good. And you can see the hole. I, I wanted to take another look at this because I thought maybe there was some progress. 
Uh, you can see the hall there between those trees, and I think right now we're going to, yeah, let's zoom in right now on the hall thing that's down there on the ground. I thought maybe they had made some additional, you know, theming progress on that, but it, I, I went back and looked from, like, what, I don't know, six, seven weeks ago. It looks exactly the same as it did before, so not much to see there. But we are going to stop here because I want to make another comparison to four weeks ago. And uh, kind of similar to what we're seeing right now with some of the uh, mesh work, you know, having the, the, the texture coat added four weeks ago. It looks about the same in terms of, you know, how much mesh is there, but they're applying a lot of rock work to that mesh now, if we, if we look at, the, at today's update. And we'll continue. I've been asked from what points in the park you're going to be able to see these mountains. Because, uh, you know, there, there are certain things in Disneyland that you can see from pretty much everywhere, like Space Mountain. Uh, well, maybe not everywhere, but there's a lot of places that you can see Space Mountain that maybe you shouldn't. But uh, I would say definitely, obviously, Rivers of America, Critter Country, you'll see them for sure. Frontierland, you're going to get a good, <laughs> a good solid look. Uh, from Frontierland, and I would say that there are points in New Orleans Square. As you look down the rivers of America, you'll be able to see them. Uh, you know, like when you're when you're right there on the river, uh, and, and that's about it. Actually, I don't think that you're going to be able to see them. Well, you know what? You'll see them from areas like you could, like you know how you can see Splash Mountain from the top of, uh, or you can see Space Mountain from the top of Splash Mountain. Likewise, as uh, uh, Gensid 55 has shown you can see the mount you can see Star Wars land from the top of the Matterhorn but you can see a lot of things <laughs> from the top of the Matterhorn <laughs> you can see the whole park so that shouldn't be a surprise and then I'm gonna switch to a, a full audio here because we're gonna get you know a smidgen a smidgen of uh, our old classic commentary. Ian's with me on this little visit right here. He doesn't always join me when I'm filming, just because we don't do live commentary. But he, he was with me when this when something came up regarding those trees that I was just talking about, as well as some other things. So we'll switch to uh, full audio here. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Their commitment to theming that they they pipe in the sounds of people hammering, so that you know, very authentic. Make it very more authentic. Yeah. Just like you would hear in an old, you know, river backwards by a train. Disney, they think of everything. Reported, there's going to be a permits for file to play. They're going to install fake trees. Yeah, that was Matthew. Is it Matthew? Yeah. He was, he was doing Along this line, I think. I mean, it said on 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 Mountain Rock, so it may be. I, I don't know if it's on this, this lower or up on top, right? Yeah. Look at this. I wonder if that's how they train the rats. Yeah. They're hauling. We're going to take a lap around. <laughs> Don't do that, you think. Good. You win. So it's the docking, I'm sure. Yeah. We're Never have to wash your face like this. 
All right, well, that's going to do it. Fresh Bake, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!